Hey guys, this is Jeremy again. Welcome back to Books and Coffee. And you guys ran it a little bit first. So, hey guys, uh, welcome back. I decided to do the bookshelf that is, um, this is like um, the bookshelf where I film. Um, I did one bookshelf tour when I, um, uh, when I showed you guys my Star Wars book, uh, my Canon Star Wars bookshelf. I might do my, my Legend Star Wars bookshelf tour at a later time. Um, and I'm in the process of getting at least two to three more bookshelves because I have so many books that literally they're just sitting on the floor in the bottom of my closet because I have nowhere else to put them. So it would be almost impossible to show you all the books in there. But I thought I would at least show you guys the books, the all the books that are actually on this shelf and go ahead and show you guys. So we're going to flip the camera around and I'll show you all the books. So I have my gorgeous Harry Potter series. This is a new uh, new hardcover set that I got because um, one winter I left them in a corner of my living room and my window was open almost all winter and it almost literally, because of the cold, it literally ripped the, the hardcover, like cardboard, part of the hardcovers completely off the book. So I had to get a new set and these are absolutely beautiful i'm probably going to inv um, eventually invest in a completely another set because i have these special um fan-made hardcovers that go on these ones but i don't want to take the titles off of these i uh, everyone knows what these covers look like so i won't completely pull all of them out of here but i i these are by far my favorite covers for sure but i do also so i have jk rowling's harry potter series and then I have her novel, The Ichabog, I think is how you pronounce that. And then I have her newest book release, um, The Christmas Pig. So then we have a few books. We have uh, Ready Player One, Ready Player Two, and this is a book that uh, I did not get until uh, last week that did not get to go into my book haul, which is my hardcover edition of Armada by, by Ernest Cline. Um, and these are his paperback, so I have them both in paperback and in hardcover, so Ready Player One, Ready Player Two, and Armada, as you all saw in that book haul. Then I have We All Fall Down by this author, Light Lark by Alex Asher, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, and The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. Down to this shelf, we have the Something Dark and Holy trilogy by Emily A. Duncan, so... These covers are just gorgeous. So we have Wicked Saints, Ruthless, Ruthless God, ooh, whoops, and Blessed Monsters. And this is a Owl Crate pin that came with this exclusive hardcover. I don't know if that hardcover is still available through Owl Crate, but then we have the um, Nevernight Chronicles by Jay Kristoff. So I won't pull out all these books. I'll only pull out this one, which is Nevernight. Then right next to it, uh, we have God's Grave and Dark Dawn. Then we have uh, his Lotus War trilogy with Storm Dancer, King Slayer, and End Singer. Um, and these covers are stunning. I'm really looking forward to reading this trilogy. And then we have the Aurora Cycle trilogy written by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff with um, Aurora Rising, Aurora Burning, and Aurora's End. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about this one is I actually got a accidental misprint hardcover because this hardcover was not printed without the title. Mine, I guess, got messed up. So it's really sad because so I'm going to end up having to buy a new one because not having the title on the front cover is driving me nuts with this edition. This is just how I how, um, how I got it in the mail. So anyway, because they it should look like that just with the cover or just with the title on it so last series which is another series that is by jay uh jay Kristoff and and amy kaufman which is the illuminate Files series um and that this is a very mixed format series it's like written in like font and text let's see if i can emails it's really really neat i have yet to start reading this it's actually kind of interesting to see how the audiobooks are going to play out for these. Um, but then I have the Carry On, uh, or excuse me, or commonly known as the Simon Snow Trilogy by Rambo Rao. So we have Carry On, Wayward Sun, and Any Way the Wind Blows. I have yet to read this trilogy. 
Then we have on to our second shelf. This is a recent purchase of mine, which is The Starless Crown by James Rollins. Um, then we, of course, have the Keeper, The Seeker of Time trilogy by J.M. Buckler. Seeker of Time, Stillness of Time, and Passage of Time. I have a coffee mug with a J on it and this little stitch thingy. And here is my special... Um, hardcover edition of Seeker of Time and it will always just be displayed out like that because it is one of my favorite um, books ever and favorite covers. Now we're going to move over to the second shelf. We have my giant Colleen Hoover uh, basically bookshelf really um, and there is a lot of books on here um, so yeah so we have Losing Hope. This is my special um, beautiful signed and personalized hardcover um i'll have to show you guys that in a future video so we have and i'm not going to pull these out because there's too many of them so we have slammed point of retreat this girl hopeless my paperback edition of losing hope finding cinderella finding perfect maybe someday another cover of maybe someday because they changed the covers maybe not maybe now Ugly Love, Confess, November 9, Without Merit, All Your Perfects, Re uh, Regretting You, Layla, Reminders of Him, Verity, and Heartbones. Heartbones is getting a new cover because it was indie published, which is what this edition is, and it's now being traditionally published. And then I recently um, have been um, recommended this series really, really, or not this series, but this author, which is Mariotta Zapata. I have two of her books, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, and All Roads Lead Here. Um, she has like 13 books, all self-published, but these two books here are being traditionally published, so I wanted to hurry up and, and buy the self-published editions before you couldn't get them anymore. This one came in really gorgeous condition, and this one came kind of damaged, so I'm, I'm going to try to rebuy it while I still can. And the last shelf on here is my entire shrine to Cassandra Clare. Um, she is my number one favorite author. I adore her books, and I have a lot of reviews for her work on my channel. So we have her Infernal Devices trilogy, which is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Then we have the first two books of the Last Hour series, which is Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. The third book is coming out at the very end of this month called Chain of Thorns, I believe. Then we have the Mortal Instruments series with City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. My favorite series probably by her because you just get to spend more time with the characters. And then we have her last, her, excuse me, her um, Dark Artifices series with Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little bookshelf tour. Um, there's a lot of titles on this shelf that I will be reading over the next year. Um, one of them, which I know so many people have been asking me, when am I going to read that? And that goes to Lady Midnight. I really, really, really want to get to this book, but it's freaking huge. It's so long. Every book of this trilogy is so, so long, and I don't want to do audiobook for them. I want to sit down and read them myself like I have for the rest of her books. So they're going to get read slowly. I might, maybe I might wait until it's a little, I don't know. I haven't decided when I'll read them. I have a few other books that are um, that's on my list to read right now, but um, yeah. So let me know uh, if there's a book here you um, that you saw on the shelf that you would like to see me read and review first. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.